Hi, I'm Clara. It's our last video of SIPCAD software operation today. Let's start from the peers. Here we can choose no peers, first stage, second stage, and third stage based on the mental thickness. Normally, the third stage will be applied when we try to cut maximum thickness, like 1000 watt for 10 mm carbon steel, 3000 watt for 20 mm carbon steel. Let's explain the peers by taking third stage. We can see the parameters are almost the same as the cut. The differences are the step time and extra blow. We choose the step time and extra blow for all stages. I made a picture here to assist my introduction. From the third stage, when the cutting head follows to the pierce height, which is 15 millimeters here, it will stop and stay here for 200 ms and begin to emit laser beam and blow gas to make the perforation based on the parameters set here. Then the cutting head will go to the pierce height of second stage, which is 5 mm here. The running time of the distance is 1000 ms, which is called step time here. When the cutting head arrives at the pierce height of second stage, it will perform the extra blow of third stage. Stop and stay here for 500 ms while laser off and gas on. After the extra blow, it will repeat the steps as the third stage and the same for first stage. The machine will start cut following graphics after all peer stages we said have finished. Next, let's see the global parameters. We can set the empty travel speed and acceleration here. Travel low pass frequency is kind of the acceleration of travel acceleration. The larger the value here, the faster the travel acceleration, but the more the machine bears the shocks. So please don't set it too large to avoid the possible damages to the machine. Frame speed is the speed for frame here. Let's see value differences. First, let's set it to 150. Second, we change it to 1000. Cutting acceleration and cutting low pass frequency are the same as the travel one. The curve precision is set 0.05 as the default. The smaller the value, the higher the precision, but the slower the speed. When we are trying to cut some corners, there will be small fillets in transition. The size of the fillets will be the corner precision. Is set 0.1 as the default. The smaller the value, the higher the precision, but the slower the speed. Jog acceleration and jog low pass frequency are the values we set for here. Burst pulse frequency and burst peak power are the power setting for the laser here. We can set the duty cycle here. 
The fourth gas flow is the gas pressure we set for the auxiliary gas. Gas on delay shouldn't be zero, or the lenses will get damaged if the gas cannot be offered at the same time as the laser beam on. First, the gas on delay is the delay we set when we first turn on the gas when the machine is rested for a period. It will help us to avoid some damages due to there is no enough gas in the gas hoses. Gas switch delay is needed when we switch the gas taps, like from oxygen to nitrogen. The delay will offer us some time to wait the gas exchange. Cooling delay is the time the machine stops and stay at the cooling points while laser off and gas on. Resume step back is the distance we can set when we pause the cutting, and it will go back distance when we click the resume here. If there's no back distance, we resume the cutting. Probably cutting will not be perfect as we expected. The back distance we set here will ensure the cutting completed. Let's see the distance differences. First, let's set it to zero. The pause position is here. We can see it goes forward directly. Let's try three millimeters. The pause is here. It goes back a little and then move forward. Follow control here. The first one is the max follow distance. The default value is eight, and we don't suggest to change it. When the following distance exceeds eight millimeters, the precision will be out of quality. The principle of the following is based on capacitive sensing. The further the nozzle is from the metal plate, the weaker capacitive sensing is. When the cutting head finishes cutting a graphic, it will lift the head and travel to next graphic for cutting. If we take the frog lip lift, it will enable the cutting head lifting and travel at the same time, which will decrease the running time. If not, it will make the lifting first and then travel to next cutting. Following dry run and disable follow are normally used when the machine is under testing, so in daily operation they are useless. Optimized short travel is suggested for linear motor machines. Most fiber laser cutting machines are configured with servo motors. Hold that fixed height is mainly used when cutting some non-metal materials, which the capacitive sensing is not capable of working. Unlift when travel shorter than. Enable to set the value for the option in the layer parameter here. If we set it to ten, the cutting head will not be lifted when the travel distance is less than ten millimeters. Manual reset alarm. If we tick it, all alarms will not get recovered automatically. Auto group prepares. If we don't tick it, the machine will perform prepares function, taking all graphics as one. If we tick it, machine will follow the groups one by one to make the prepares. Scan macro joint. If we take it, the machine will cut the macro joints by fly cut method, which means when the cutting head moves to the start point of the macro joint, laser off. At the end of the macro joint, laser on again. But there is no lifting, no acceleration and deceleration during the macro joint. Hide crucial parameters. Will hide the acceleration and low pass frequency. Compensate precision is the value we set for compensate option here. Fly cut overcut. 
will help us to expand the cutting distance when we apply the fly cut function. Sometimes, for cutting rectangles or squares, they will not fall directly. If we set the overcut here, it is helpful to avoid such conditions. Last, let's check the view here. Most of the functions we have introduced before, like those four, the same as here. The two are same as here. Select the open figure. We can find it at the down menu of select. Show layer allow us to choose the shown layers. Now all layers have been chosen. Let's click this. We can see the circle is disappeared. Only show will hide all layers we don't choose. We can see there's only one layer is shown. Lock layer will lock the layer which we cannot choose, drag, or make any change on it. Language here enables to cite the display language. We can see multiple languages are available. After we choose a language, we need to restart up the software. Unit will help us to set whether metric or imperial. The basic functions of SEPCAT software have finished now. Next Friday, we'll start the machine configure tool. It probably will take two or three videos. Do you have issues on your laser machines? Please put it in the comment below or contact us directly. Subscribe me here so that you get noticed as soon as I upload a video for you. Thank you. Bye.